So I'm joined by Doug Ragnelli, who's the founder of NetNumber. Doug, good to see you. Mark, good to see you too. Now, we're here at our IoT uh, conference and talking about everything to do with telcos and the IoT. Tell us about what your sense is of where telcos are with regards to the Internet of Things and where NetNumber fits into that. Mark, that's great. So every mobile operator that we work with around the world is participating in IoT at some level today. Uh, it's not a surprise. Subscriber growth in the mobile world has slowed down, so mobile operators are looking for new revenue opportunities. IoT, the opportunity to connect devices, not just subscribers, to the mobile network, it's a fantastic revenue opportunity for all these mobile operators. So everyone's participating in it at some level today. What we find interesting is that they're choosing initially to use the same infrastructure that they built for subscribers. Think of you know, my teenage daughters, right? They use the mobile network to do lots of video streaming, as an example. Operators are using that same network that they built for my teenage daughters to connect a huge number of devices that use the network in totally different ways. Now they're doing that because they've got this existing network and they're experimenting with IoT and they're learning. But what we see happening is when IoT really becomes real, you can't run the network the same way. Smart engineers sat down and figured out how do you build a network to meet the needs of my teenage daughters? Those same smart engineers wouldn't build it the same way if you were talking about connecting thousands of devices associated with my home and my family. Because the devices, they're not going to pay 40 euro a month per device, and they're not going to use the network for Netflix streaming, right? So we have to re-architect how the network works. So where does NetNumber come in on that front? Because as you said, there's kind of a cultural change that needs to happen at telcos, but also a technological change. How does NetNumber help telcos to, to, to do that, to change the, the, those areas? Sure. So NetNumber participates in what's called the signaling network. It's an esoteric part of the network that you just assume that it exists. For example, you turn on your phone, it connects to the network. Somehow, magically, the phone is able to identify itself, look up what services have you signed up for, and the network actually enforces those services and gives you access to what you purchased. All that magic is accomplished with what's called signaling control. And that number participates in the network by building a platform that helps operators to vastly simplify that signaling control network and scale it to support the IoT infrastructure. Doug, thank you very much. You're welcome. Mark, thanks for the show. Pleasure. Thank you.